Welcome back guys, it's Legit Lee here back again with another video. This, like it says in the description, is my first ever try run of printing with 3D, uh, Simplify 3D. So, I gotta say, it is coming out fantastic. Um, I've never printed with Simplify 3D before. I just had got the program a few days ago and I've been trying to, you know, tweak it and like study it a little bit before I started printing. This is my first print. This is a fan, uh, fan duct that I'm using for my printer soon. And as you can see, it looks very well made. And I mean, it's moving kind of slow. I want to learn how to speed it up a little bit. But, I mean, the layer height is at 0, what is that, point 0.1, I think. And, um, you can barely see anything. It is printing ABS red. That's a red filament. It looks orange, but it's red. And, um, the, I have no fan on it other than the one that's on the extruder to keep it at the temp. And, um... As you can see, I did a raft down there, and um, I used the fillers that they were recommending. So you can see like where I got to cut off at. It's kind of hard to see it from here, but I don't want to open this up because I have air conditioning on, and it'll cool my ABS, and I don't want that to happen just yet. Other than that. Um, it's printing very well. I really like the detail that's coming out of this print. Once it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright everybody, I'm sorry about this, but my computer was printing the G-code of this 3D design that I was showing you through Simplified 3D. But, my computer went down. Like, it crashed on me in the middle of printing it. So, I have to start the print over again, but I'm going to be printing it off of an SD card this time around, so I won't run into this problem ever again. But I just wanted to show you what it did before it stopped. Um, so, it has the pillars, you know, the structure for, you know, base support. I already ripped it off. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm a little surprised, you know, like it, I'm, I really like it. It came out really great. I'm not surprised that, you know, it came out good. I just didn't think I was going to come out this good. Um, you can barely see any of the layers. This is, you know, one point, uh, the one one zero point one layer height and uh or is it zero point zero one I forget oh no it's really thin layer height and you could barely see any like you know lines in it so you know I, I ripped it off already I put um structure supports inside the vent hole right here so I have something to print on over the top and I already ripped those out they rip off really really easy so that's good you don't actually have to work too hard at it and uh, so this is what it looks like this is just the support for you know the whole part itself now the bottom you know it's not gonna be the greatest but it worked out pretty well and everything else on here is pretty great I mean the bottom of the, under this is great like it's nice and flat you know it has the that grid on there but it's really flat and you know I'm surprised because it is ABS so like there really was no warping I'm really getting good at printing with ABS it's crazy because I only started with ABS. I never used uh, PLA yet, and now I'm, I feel like I want to get into PLA. But it's like you know, I, I didn't. I did stuff backwards. I didn't start off with PLA first, so it's like I was running before I crawled or something. So, um, yeah. But if you look at the detail in here, 
I mean, I've already been getting really good detail on most of my prints already, so this isn't that big of a surprise to me. But, you know, with the extra, you know, layer support for the structure, you know, structural support, I could just, like, this part right here is supposed to just rip right off. I may be able to get it with my thumbnail here. But, uh, yeah, this, that part right there. See, the reason why that melts is because my, you know, my stuff stopped. The computer crashed and I had to restart it. And it, well, my nozzle was just sitting in that one spot right there for a second. So that's why it's that little melty, melted spot at the top right there in that corner. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's good. I like it. And, I mean, if it would have finished, it would have been perfect, it looks like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that part out. I have some um, wires, clippers. Well, you know. All I got to do is just kind of pull it out of there. There it goes. See, I already had ripped all that out. I just put that little piece in there just to show you guys. But yeah, it looks really well made. There's no more other support other than that front part right there. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, it came out pretty good. I like it. Other than, you know, my computer shutting off, but other than that, Simplified 3D and the ANET seems like they work really well together. Especially with the whole, I'm, I'm just telling you, that structure support, I've been having to add all my own support and like figuring out ways for things to print differently. Like I have to print stuff upside down or sideways or, you know, something weird for it just to actually work for me. Now see, if I would have printed it flat like this, I would have had to worry about this piece over here and needing it some structure support. So I would have had to add some circular tubes or something like that to keep it up so that way it wouldn't print weird but with simplified 3d it already gives you the support you need and you could just take away what you don't want to use for support i mean granted this is a good amount of filament i wasted here but it's okay i just wanted to test it out but next time i'll probably print flat like this and then just have like structure support for this part or like this part right here. I don't know, I'm trying to make it simpler. But like I just really wanted to get this square piece. You know, I want to make sure that was nice and squared up. So that way when I add my fan to the top of here, it'll be nice and flush and I won't have to worry about nothing. And you can see on the sides here, I kind of got a little bit of lines coming out here. I don't know what that's why that is exactly but it's not a big deal so I could just cut those off using uh, my knife well other than that it came out really well for my first ever print with simplified 3d so anyway I hope you guys liked the video please like subscribe let me know what you think once my once this video before I upload this video I will print another one of these and probably put a picture of the this one finished not this one, but the next one that's finished and lets you see what it looks like and how it came out. Just pr just printing off the SD card. So yeah, if I, I'll show you that now. And then you guys uh, have a great day and thanks for watching. Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee here. I'm back again. Um, I finally was able to get the, fr the print finished and this is how it came out. I already ripped it off and uh, it's actually not hard to pull, peel off of here. So yeah, it comes off just like that. It doesn't need a lot of support, but that's all I was trying to say. It simplified 3D does do, you know, supports, so it works out great. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. Now the bottom needs to get touched up. You can see there's some holes right there. I'm just gonna try to fill that in. I have some acetone. This is all ABS. So I have some acetone and I'll get a, like a paintbrush and some you know leftover like you know, pieces of this uh, filament and just kind of paint over that to make sure that it covers up all those holes because this is an air vent and I don't want it looking like that. 
But other than that, you can see the clarity inside of here. So I just want to kind of show you guys. Try to get in there real, real nice. You can barely see any of those lines in there. But yeah, I have to fix the G code. I uh, after it's done printing, it just sits there, and that's where that little that little spot right there came from. It was just sitting on my nozzle was just sitting on top of the print after it finished, and it kind of just burned out little circular hole. It doesn't matter for this print because right there is where I'll just slide a vent into. That's why it looks like this, and you won't even see it because it's going to be inside of the fan. So, but other than that, I mean, it came out really nice. There's only little lines on the side right here that you can see. And it doesn't look bad at all. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. And like always, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter. Um, if you guys have any questions or, you know, want me to do more videos on a certain thing, I definitely will do that. Um, I do take requests now. So if you guys have like a video you definitely want me to do, I would um, read your comment and definitely start making one. I have one that I need to make soon. Her name is G Bor on my YouTube channel, and uh, she's been asking me to do a video of how I keep my nails so clean. So um, I'm going to do a video on that soon. I just have to wait until my nails grow out a little more, and I'll show you the reason why I like to keep my nails long and yeah but that's in a later video please like subscribe let me know what you think and this is legit lee signing out